Hello and welcome to the 17th and final round of the 2016 PCC Europe Series season here in the Principality of Monaco. After a long and arduous season, this first PCC Europe season is nearing its completion. Taking a look at the point standings entering this race, Christopher Loxanen leads over Jan Schmidt by 18. Clara Kindall and Isaac Kovalchuk stand an outside chance, however those points are not correct as Isaac Kovalchuk took the pole by one one thousandth of a second over Christopher Loxanen. Grigory Novakovsky and J.P. Beaufort in row 2. Good effort by Beaufort there. Giampaolo Fini in row 3 with Lev Zarepin, David Hetzel, and Tussi Antonin. Now the top 29 in points got invited to this race, so Lev Tabakov there. Rickards Lipsburg. Some of these drivers uh, did not start the entire season. Some of them showed up later in the year. Alexei Lyotov was the last driver to get in on points. Ruby Kosica there in row 8 with Stuart Buchanan. Shumi Winslow, Dylan O'Hara in row number 9. 29 cars will start this race. There's Vital Winslow. Jan Schmidt, poor qualifying effort for him. He had issues in qualifying, and Clara Kindall wrecked it on her lap, so she's going to start 22nd. Everyone behind Kindall did not set a time in qualifying. Only 22 drivers set a time in qualifying. And uh, there's Ingrid Jane Ambleton, who won at Spa uh, last race, and Alexei Motov is going to round out the field in 29th place. And with that, Isaac Kovalchuk's going to bring the field down to the green flag, getting five points for winning that pole. One one-thousandth over Christopher Loxanen, and that's going to put him that much closer to closing the gap between himself and Loxanen. But Loxanen get, gets a good run on the outside there. He's got other plans, trying to stay in front of all of his championship competitors. Christopher Loxanen doing battle side-by-side -side with Kovalchuk, going through these uh, S's, and Loxanen is going to take the lead doing all that he can to secure a second straight PCC Europe Championship. Loxanen is, and uh, he's going to continue to put that gap on Isaac Kovalchuk. Now, he's got 18 points between himself and Jan Schmidt. However, Schmidt qualified in 20th, so that's only one point for him. So Loxanen continuing to hold the lead. This is where he needs to be uh, to secure that second championship, and I think he's going to... Uh, try and lock it up with a dominating performance here today. Stuart Buchanan near the back of the field. Slides, trying to avoid Kosica. That's O'Hara putting him into the wall. And uh, he's going to continue on. Shumi Winslow slaps the wall there. AJ Canton trying to take evasive action. Hits the wall there. And uh, he's a bit slow going away. Side by side with Alexei Motov there. That's not how you take that turn. And AJ Canton is going to go out of the race before even completing a single lap. 0-9 car out of the race. Heike Vendel, a lap two, hits the same wall that Canton did. That's Lyutov involved. And here comes uh, the rest of the field. Good evasive action there by most of the field. Shumi Winslow gets involved, going on board with Clara Kindall. She slides into the wall. Stuart Buchanan hit it again. Side by side there with Vital Winslow. And she's going to hit Shumi Winslow and do a bit of damage to that two car, further hampering her championship efforts. Uh, zero one car near the back of the field also hits that tire wall on lap two. Uh, big, big shenanigans down in that turn in lap number two, but here's uh, J.P. Beaufort doing an excellent job, the Frenchman, in fourth place. Uh, one of his better runs of the year. His best finish all season was second in Sweden, and hopefully we can see him near the front as this race continues on. Here's Anna Kostopoulos. She's going to slap the wall there and go out of the race on lap number six. So, tough break for Anna Kostopoulos, JB Autosport, driving, driving for uh, John Brocky. And uh, doing a great job is Christopher Loxanen continuing to pull a gap on Isaac Kovalchuk. But it looks like Kovalchuk stabilized that, and uh, that's not going to help matters. Loxanen slaps the wall there, and uh, that's going to allow Kovalchuk to close the gap. He almost gets side-by-side -side with Loxanen there. Really putting the pressure on that one car is the 16. And uh, looks like Lev Tabakov is out of the race. Electrical issues are going to take that SMP Katsev team car out of the race. And uh, Tabakov, best running of those cars in points. Oh, problems for JP Beaufort. It sounds like a tire is going down on that 11 car, and he's going to pull it in on lap number 5. And Dylan O'Hara coming around. He got a bit of damage earlier on in the race. He's going to slap the wall there. That's J.P. Beaufort on fresher tires. Going to make a move on the inside. He's going to put him into the wall. That's going to take. That's going to do a lot of damage to the front end of that 98 car. 
and uh, Dylan O'Hara, unfortunately for the driver for Racers United, is, oh, what? He's slowing down in the middle of the track. Oh, that's a bit of a hazard. Alexei Motov makes a move around, but Dylan O'Hara, something definitely broke on that car. He stopped in the middle of the track, as now Christopher Loxanen and Isaac Kovalchuk now stuck behind the lapped car, or soon-to-be lapped car, of Mercedes Winslow up there in the 644 car. And uh, the 644 has been jamming up the leaders for several laps now, and they haven't been able to find a way around him. As here's David Hetzel. Oh, what are you? That was bizarre. It looked like something broke on that 78 car, because he turned dead right into that barrier and that's going to take the 78 out of the race from sixth place he was having a great run uh, but unfortunately david hetzel uh, driving for his own team he moved his team from uh, the pcc cup series to the pcc europe series a couple years ago it's going to go out of the race clara kindall's championship uh, efforts are going to take another hit as she makes an unscheduled stop here on lap number 10 of 55. christopher loxen and still trying to hold off isaac kovalchuk there but that car is going to break down. Suspension issues on the one car are going to make him stop right there before the pits. He's going to have to get a push back into the pit lane. Championship efforts really hampered here. Christopher Loxon comes out of the pits 23rd, one lap down. They would be able to fix that car. But Loxon and championship evaporates almost immediately there as, as uh, Isaac Kovalchuk now takes the lead that's 65 points that's more than enough to put him in the championship lead if the race were to end right now so Isaac Kovalchuk doing a Hail Mary here and uh, closest championship rival now is Jan Schmidt who's running in eighth place now lap 20 10 laps after they've caught him and Isaac Kovalchuk still hasn't found a way around Mercedes Winslow and that's brought Grigory Novakovsky into the mix you can see there how much Novakovsky's closed in Still hasn't found a way around it. And Giampaolo Fini now up to third place, doing a great job in this 18 car. Uh, Fini been very close to getting a victory. He finished second in Estonia. And there's uh, Loxon and hitting the wall behind him a lap down. But he has been closing in on the top two now. And, uh, oh, that's a bit of a slide. Kovalchuk hits the wall. Novakovsky is going to make a look on the inside. Now the outside. And that's going to he's going to hit the wall and fall back. Car is trying to make passes here, but... It's so hard to pass this track. Novakovsky keeps hitting the wall, and Jem Palofini has now entered the fray. Just two seconds behind the leader, and one second behind Novakovsky. Jem Palofini looking for a win here on, a, well, one of his home circuits. This isn't quite uh, as close to home as the Dallara circuit is for him, but looking for a win nonetheless is Jem Palofini for Giannunzio. And uh, Vital Winslow having a pretty decent run. That's uh, Magnuson into the wall side by side. And Vital Winslow is going to hit the barrier there and go out of the race from uh, 14th place. He was having an okay run. And uh, Novakovsky is going to hit the pit lane. These are the be This is the beginning of scheduled stops. Uh, not quite halfway through this race. Oh, that's some contact there. But Kovalchuk is going to make a move on the inside. And 15 laps after he caught... Mercedes Winslow, he's finally going to get around him. Just shows how tough it is to pass cars on this track. And now he's going to have to deal with J.P. Beaufort. But uh, that's going to put a gap between himself and Jem Palofini, who is making a concerted effort to make his way up towards the lead as Christopher Loxon brings the car into the pits once again. This time looks like for a scheduled stop. Lev Zarepin up in third place now with uh, Novakovsky in the pits. The Russian Bears team has been operating well above what we expected with uh, such a limited budget. Uh, they've had almost no sponsorship on those cars all year. They are expected to get some financial backing for next season, and uh, we're looking forward to that. Tussie Anton in P4, and Rickard Lipsbergs in P5. So three Scuderia Giannunzio cars up in the top five. They're having an excellent effort here today. And uh, Lipsburgs, I understand, will be back with this team in the 50, in the, I believe the 51 car, might be mistaken that, but, uh, but looks like uh, Zarepin's going to bring his car into the pits from third. That's a scheduled stop. And Jan Schmidt now is, uh, he's up to fifth place, uh, trying to capitalize and possibly take the points lead if he finishes in fourth.
he will just barely snag the points lead from Isaac Kovalchuk if he manages a perfect 70. And it looks like Kovalchuk is on uh, his way to that right now as Anders Magnussen been dealing with a pretty ill-handling car all race. He's going to slide into that uh, shell barrier there and take himself out of the race. Unfortunate break for him. He was in 12th place looking for a few points. Now Christopher Loxanen, with all of this attrition that's occurred, has moved back up into the points. He sits 19th. That's uh, Alexei Motov right in front of him. That is for position. Uh, Novakovsky's right behind him. That is, uh, he is a lap ahead. But Christopher Loxanen, if, if there's enough attrition, he still might be able to win this championship. As Here's Jan Schmidt doing battle with uh, Katjan Skurl for fourth place. He's going to take it there. And here is your new points leader, Jan Schmidt, coming to the line. And he's going to take fourth place just ahead. That's uh, Keegan Mallory behind in sixth. But looks like Katjan Skurl's going to get a good run on the outside. And there goes Jan Schmidt's points lead. It lasted about two turns. Uh, but he's still going to stay side by side. Let's see if he can't get it here. Nope, Katyn Skrull's going to make a move on the inside there, on the outside. That turn, and uh, Jan Schmidt's going to slot back in line in fifth place. So one more spot, he can take this championship. JP Beaufort's going to blow up here about halfway through this race. Tough break for him. He started well, had an unscheduled pit stop, and just uh, fell off the pace after that as Jan Schmidt's going to bring his car into the pits at the end of lap 29. Scheduled stop for him, and he's going to surrender fifth place. But Katya and Skrull having an excellent effort here for Master Sport Motorsports. Uh, American team showed up with a three-car operation. Uh, two of them are in this race. There's Ingrid Jane Ambleton, who won at Spa, and Katya and Skrull, who's been a bit more consistent uh, than Ambleton, but does not have a win to show for it. Uh, have not heard any plans from this team for next season, but we hope they come back. Always good to see uh, a diverse mix of teams in the PCC Europe series, and hopefully they'll be back next year. Tussie Antonin comes into the pits. There's uh, Jim Palofini right in front of him, uh, coming in from second and third. And uh, same lap, Isaac Kovalchuk's going to come in. So we had missed that earlier. But Kovalchuk's going to make his way out of the pits. No challenge. Uh, from any of the drivers in the pits. No uh, gambles to take no tires. So it looks like Kovalchuk's going to hang on to the lead as Ingrid Jane Ambleton slides into that barrier. That barrier has claimed a lot of cars here today. And Rickard Lipsbergs, oh, that's a bit of a slide from one of your championship competitors there, uh, Jan Schmidt. But he's going to keep going. And he dropped back to eighth after uh, Pitt cycled out. So lap 33 of 55, he's sitting in eighth place. Still not out of the running just yet, but it's going to be a bit of an effort for him to get any further up as uh, Christopher Loxanen is up to 17th place now, so uh, I think he needs to finish 10th or better if uh, Kovalchuk gets a perfect 70 here today, which he looks, again, to be en route to do. But doing battle here with Alexei Motov for 16th place. This is a pretty tight battle. There's Novakovsky right behind there. I can't imagine he's too thrilled to see this in front of him, but still side by side, every point is going to count for Christopher Loxanen. And uh, that's uh, Clara Kindle behind there trying to sneak into the picture, but it would be sorted out, and Alexei Motov would take the, uh, that spot. Uh, here we've got Isaac Kovalchuk, who's got a nine-second lead. I think he's uh, just about trying to lock this race up, but... Bruce Autosport suspect reliability, so we're not entirely sure if he's going to be able to make it the distance. Making a move again on Alexei Motov is Christopher Loxen, and on the outside there, hits the wall. He's going to use that advantage if he kept his foot in it, and Alexei Motov bounces off the wall, and Christopher Loxen into 16th place, one spot closer to winning the championship. Jan Schmidt blows up from 8th place. That's a His championship effort goes up in smoke. But that might be to the benefit of his teammate. He's what is he doing? He stops in the middle of the track there. That was all. Rip, Rickard Lipsberg's almost hit him there. But uh, Jan Schmidt gonna crawl back to the pit lane if his championship effort is done. But he might be able to help Loxanen with that dropping out of the races. Oh, that's uh, Lev Zerapin getting into them. That's a battle now for third place. He bounces off of Tussie Antonin side by side going down here. And Antonin's going to take the spot. 
good run for Antonin on the inside there, but looks like Zerapin's going to battle back on the outside, still side by side, and Zerapin's going to hang on to the position. Gets that good run on the outside. Zerapin, P3 now, as uh, Christopher Loxanen keeping an eye on him. He is now up to 14th place, 15 laps to go. And uh, with this rash of attrition that's propped up, it looks like he only needs four more positions to win the championship. It's going to be close, I think, uh, if this rate of attrition continues. Alexei Motov slides into the wall, but he slides into the wall from 15th. That's not going to help Loxanen win the championship. Going on board with Isaac Kovalchuk now. A few lapped cars have shown up in front of him in the last couple laps. Oh, that's Buchanan into the wall. Lyotov's going to go side by side, and Lyotov's going to go into the tire barrier there and out of the race from 12th place. So another position for Christopher Loxanen as he edges ever so closer to winning the championship. He sits in 13th now, just three positions back, and oh, what a story this would be if he comes back from uh, that mechanical failure earlier in the race. He's right behind Stuart Buchanan. That's for 12th, and uh, looks like he might have the speed to get around Buchanan, uh, but Buchanan, despite hitting the wall, has still maintained a pretty decent pace for himself as Shumi Winslow right in front of the leader there. He's going to go up in smoke right before the pit lane. So Shumi Winslow up in smoke. That's going to be another position for Christopher Loxanen. As Loxanen goes by there, Shumi Winslow is going to stop on track and uh, going to get a tow back to the pits. As Christopher Loxanen, so close to taking this championship. He's up to 12th with just a few laps to go, just 10 laps to go. So time is running out. He's going to have to make a move on Buchanan if he's going to have any shot of winning this championship. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on this here, but uh, looks like coming around through the final couple turns, last lap, Isaac Kovalchuk is going to complete the perfect 70, and a Hail Mary to win the championship is going to go down right here. Isaac Kovalchuk wins his fourth race of the season in the Principality of Monaco, but was it enough to win the championship? Yes, it was. Isaac Kovalchuk wins the championship by five points over Christopher Loxanen, meaning that the championship was decided by one one thousandth of a second when Kovalchuk took the pole over Loxanen. However, even if Loxanen had tied with Kovalchuk by winning the pole, I believe Kovalchuk still would have taken the championship by virtue of second place finishes since they tied on wins, winning that battle four to three over Loxanen. Jan Schmidt finishes third in the championship, 30 points behind Loxanen, and Clara Kindle had a rough day finishing 20 points behind Jan Schmidt. Grigory Novakovsky, fifth place in the championship. Good effort by him, and it's 150-odd points back to Gem Paolo Fini in sixth. JP Beaufort, two points behind him in seventh. Lev Zerapin there, P8. Excellent effort by the Russian Bears team to get him up into the top 10. Leonid Chernov did not attempt the last few races of the season after being injured. Uh, earlier on in the season. Ingrid Jane Ambleton rounds out the top 10 for Master Sport Motorsports. Hope we'll see them back next year. DHRE and Keegan Mallory 11th in points. Clay Gibson ran a partial schedule, then moved to the States to run in the PCC Cup Series. He finished 12th in points, despite only running about half the races or so. Kachin Skirl, P13. Great effort for the Czech driver. Stuart Buchanan, P14. Dylan O'Hara, P15. The best of the racers, United Cars. Pyotr Leovkin, Ran a partial schedule, finished 16th in points. Anna Kostopoulos, P17. Rickard Lipsburg's partial schedule for him and Tussie Antonin, P18 and 19. And Alexei Motov ran the full season for Smirnov Racing, rounds out the top 20 in points. After that bombshell of a points finish, here are the results. Only 14 cars made it to the finish of the race. And after lap 45, 10 to go, none of the positions in the top 14 changed hands, meaning that Christopher Loxanen was unable to gain any ground on Isaac Kovalchuk in the last few laps. Clara Kindle finished P13. She had a very difficult day, and unfortunately for her, she wasn't able to get any better than 13th. Jan Schmidt, despite dropping out at the midpoint of the race, still finished 18th and got four points, but that was not enough to close the ground between himself, Loxanen, and Isaac Kovalchuk. And with that, we've reached the conclusion of the 2016 PCC Europe season. Come catch us next season, as we'll bring you the action from every race, live-streamed, from both the PCC Europe East and West Series.